What trend makes you the most uncomfortable? The ever declining slide of public education student academic performance. There's a shitstorm coming. The loss of public spaces and places to socially interact with other people. Tip requests on every single transaction. Deepfake and AI created visual media with deepfakes, how are we supposed to know what's real anymore? If someone makes a video of me saying something I never even said how do I an average person without means prove that? AI created visual media some companies think it's so great and cheap to do this instead of stock imagery, but I'd rather pay a photographer to take photographs. I'm not anti-technology, but use it to take over menial tasks and then provide educational and creative opportunities to humans. Tech should be enriching for humanity, not making Dotsayo one of it insanely rich. The rising tide of anti-intellectualism. People will say they haven't read a book since Diary of a Wimpy Kid in year 4 and be proud of it. It goes without saying that this bleeds into other areas of public life, and such a gullible population is any government's wet dream. However, where I am, in Britain, the government has still managed to hopelessly bugger things up, which is a very impressive feat, considering the circumstances. Simultaneously, the increasing atomization and isolation of society can only be a bad thing. If we can't talk and correct each other if needs be, what do you think's going to happen? This is only exacerbated by the trend of lonely young men, who feel like they've got nowhere to go, being preyed on by people who want to send society back to 1855, and not the socially progressive bits of 1855 either. Young adults using TikTok psychobabble to explain away any sort of accountability, people believing whatever they see online and social media. Misinformation and disinformation are easier than ever to spread, and now more people than ever are believing it without giving it a second opinion because of shorter attention spans. I've noticed a growing trend of oversharing personal life on professional platforms. I mean, LinkedIn isn't your personal diary or a venue for vague posting about your journey or struggle. There's a time and place to share your life story, and between endorsements and job listings isn't it? Keep it professional, folks. Prank videos. For me it's corporate jargon. Leveraging synergistic paradigms will enable us to dynamically streamline our blockchain-infused, customer-centric solutions, ultimately catalyzing an unprecedented paradigm shift in the ecosystem, fostering a holistic approach to scalable innovation and agile, cross-functional stakeholder engagement in the global marketplace. The housing price trend. AI in media. Just like subscription packages slowly being pushes into everything, including cars, it will start out slow and progress to be a larger and larger part of what we enjoy. Subscriptions and the slow move to make all entertainment digital only so as not to allow us to own anything. People emulating mental illnesses for attention clout on TikTok and elsewhere. The lack of faith in experts doctors, climatologists, etc. People thinking that banning books is beneficial. Attacks on teachers. The inordinate cost of housing everywhere. Trauma dumping on social media. The internet is forever. Little girls barely out of toddler stage dressed as adult women. Tube tops and shorts that barely cover their rears. Don't see many boys dressed this way. And the parents post pics on social media and they get the most filthy comments from strangers. Like why? Had to wear shorts touching my knees for the longest as did all my friends.